Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial to get GitHub Copilot Pro subscription for free as a student. Now it has two parts. First, we'll get access to GitHub Student Developer Pack and second, we'll set up GitHub Copilot Pro using that access. In case you have access to your GitHub Student Developer Pack, directly skip to the timeline mentioned below and without wasting any time, get straight to setting up Copilot Pro. Now, what is the difference between GitHub Copilot free version and pro version? Free version has limited chat completions like 2000 completions and 50 chat messages per month. But with pro version, you get unlimited chat completions every month. So uh, also a quick reminder that AI tools like GitHub Copilot Pro and GitHub Copilot are really helpful, but make sure you use them only for ethical purposes. And try to use them to improve your productivity, to learn faster and create amazing projects. So let's get started with the installation and I hope you'll like this video. Let's begin with the access to GitHub Student Developer Pack. Let's move to the website. Now uh, this is the website for GitHub Student Developer Pack which has a lot of features which are available free for students and other professionals. So we can scroll down and see what uh, the things are available for us. Now let's sign up for GitHub Student Developer Pack. Click on this and now we will log into our GitHub account. Make sure that this GitHub account has your college email address in it as your primary email address. And now when you will scroll down after logging in, it will show your college's name. And now this time you have to allow access to your location. In case you deny access to your location, it will show some error on your screen. Now it will ask you to upload proof for your academic status. Make sure you have PNG or JPG image of your college identity card as uh, mentioned here in the prescribed format. After uploading your college ID, click on process my application. It might take some time, but I have made it faster. Now after 100%, it will take four to five days for you to get the mail. And in worst case, it might take nine days to get you the mail as mentioned on the screen. And some of you might receive a few rejection mails, but you can try uh, doing this with the points that are mentioned below. And once you get the approval mail as shown on the screen, to get access, you have to click on this link. And after clicking, it will display some setup questions which you can skip or submit as you wish. I was skipping in this case and you can choose any of the both. I went with the first one. Now when you click on this you will be redirected to your github where you can uh, scroll down to explore more offers that are available for you in your student developer pack now before clicking on the first one open your github account and open copilot on the right corner and now we have to get access to github copilot click on this after this scroll down and uh, you can enable or disable according to your need and I have allowed uh, all the options that were asked to me. Now when you save and complete setup you would be given access to github copilot which you need to set up now in your device. Now going to the first intro to copilot. Scroll down, you can see this is one course for setup as provided by GitHub Education. So start the course. This repository consists of step-by-step -step guide of how to proceed further with your setup for GitHub Copilot. Now right click on the start course and open it in new tab so that you can refer to the steps by changing your tab. In the new tab, you will be automatically asked to create a repository. Make sure it is public as mentioned in the previous repository. So now it is generating your repository. Now uh, wait for a few seconds and after that refresh this page, which will guide you with the first step of your installation. Now refreshing the page. We can see that the readme file of this repository has been updated and step one has been provided to us, which we need to perform. Now copy the URL for this repository and open in new tab so that you can refer to the steps by changing the tab. So we'll copy its URL and open this in a new tab. 
we have opened this in a new tab and now our first step was to create a new file and name it as it was mentioned in the repository step copy this name from here and paste it in the name of the new file now we'll copy the content as well from the previous tab copying this content as it is from here and pasting it in the file now the next step is to commit this file directly to the main branch so we can see that they are asking us to commit directly to the main branch now we will click on commit changes and check uh, commit directly to the main branch is ticked and now commit changes after commit dev container.json has been added to a repo now we can move to our next step which states that after clicking on the code tab we have to move to the home page of our repo click on the code and now we will have to create a code space now let's scroll down what was the next step it asks us to navigate to the home page which we have done now code button located in the center of the screen and we have to click on the code spaces and create code space on main and after that some terminal would appear on our screen now click on this code and now this this is local and this is code spaces create code space on main this step will take some time have patience grab your seats and i have speeded speeded this up so that's why this is going faster but it will take some time for you and it will auto run all the commands itself and you can see that it has started loading and the step 2 has been displayed on your screen now in the right side the github copilot pro has been added to your terminal and you have been provided access to your github copilot pro now to check you can follow these steps if github copilot is working or not we will add the skills.js file in our folder and uh, we'll directly copy paste the function that it was asking to we'll write the function function calculate numbers where one and where two and github copilot will automatically suggest the code that should be appeared next to this function see it is auto suggesting press tab and you will get the code on your screen and now it will ask to add to stage these changes that we have made and push these changes in the repository we which are very basic commands and also written on the screen Firstly, we'll stage this uh, file, get add skills.js, and then we will commit with some basic commit message. And after commit, we will push all the commits to our main. And all the commands have been displayed on the screen, and these are very basic git commands. After this, open your Visual Studio code on your laptop and sign in. Now we'll sign in with our account. Now again opening. Now we can see we are signed in and now we'll open extensions and check whether GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot chat, both extensions are present or not. If they are not present, install them. You will get access to GitHub Copilot Pro, GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot chat. Both the extensions are present. Now I will, uh, let's test whether this GitHub Copilot Pro is working or not. Let me open a file. Now I'll ask it to create a function to fetch weather data. Let's see uh, how GitHub Copilot Pro works on this. See, it has given some basic code regarding this, which you can implement and you can improve and work upon this using this github copilot pro also it has no limit on the chat completions that was there in on the free version and it is absolutely free for you i hope this installation was useful for you and hope you utilize it to your best thank you for watching this video bye bye take care